Good afternoon, everyone. As I was watching the FOMC meeting yesterday, something really shocked me. So Jerome Powell was asked by the media, does he think that there's going to be a recession in 2023 or something to that nature, uh, something along those lines? And what he said really shocked me because usually the Fed has been very optimistic uh, throughout this whole process in 2022. They've been saying we're going to have a soft landing, recession is not necessary. You have the Secretary of the U.S. Treasury, Janet Yellen, saying that there's not going to be a recession, we're never going to have a recession again. And here Jerome Powell, Powell's answer was, he said that we don't know if we're going to have a recession in 2023. Nobody knows if we're going to have a recession in 2023. So this is very, this just threw me off. It's like, oh, wow, um, what happens to all the optimism? What happens to the soft landing? Um, and guys, I want to take you to the summary of economics uh, projections uh, for yesterday's meeting to show you exactly what Jerome Powell meant. Uh, so if uh, that's what you basically see on the screen right now. So this is for December 14, 2022. And we're going to go down to this table, table one, economic projections of Federal Reserve Board members and the Federal Reserve presidents. So that's pretty much all of these presidents and kind of uh, their projections on what the economy is going to do in uh, the next few fiscal years or calendar years, whatever they use, they use calendar years. So if we look at 2023, Someone is projecting one of the presidents, so this is the range column, uh, one of the presidents, or at least one of them, is projecting that there's going to be a negative 0.05% uh, negative uh, GDP, I guess, decline in 2023. So what this means is that there's probably going to be more than two um, quarters of negative GDP growth. What this means is that we're essentially going to have a recession if we go by that rule that if there's two negative uh, quarters of GDP growth, that's a recession. So guys, this um, essentially means that the Fed is projecting that there is, or at least some of the Fed presidents are projecting that there's going to be a recession. And uh, if you look at the September projection, it wasn't as bad. It's like the the this upper bound is actually pretty high. Someone was saying, "Hey, we might have a two percent growth in GDP in next year," and now it's way less optimistic. Like it dropped almost fifty percent, guys. Uh, it dropped to one percent. Like that's the most optimistic president uh, or FOMC member. Uh, so this is huge. And if you looked at the one before September, I think that was the July one, it was even higher and nobody was projecting negative growth in next year uh, in 2023. So guys, this again is very shocking. Nobody's really talking about it. But I think that essentially the Fed is somewhat kind of projecting that there's going to be a recession in 2023. They're just not saying it.